Hi there, everyone, and thanks for joining us today for another piece of 3D printing content. This is Jesse Haworth, 3D Printing Application Engineer with Hawkridge Systems. And in a recent video, we overviewed the brand new MarkForge material, Smooth TPU 95A. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at the Smooth TPU loading process and how you can quickly get your printer set up for printing with the newly released Elastomer. So, unsurprisingly, the first step we'll take here today is unboxing our spool of Smooth TPU and loading it into our dry box. Just like with Mark Forged PLA, Smooth TPU comes with a resealable Ziploc bag that you can use if you ever need to store a partially used roll outside of the dry box itself. TPU also does come with two desk and packs that will be loaded into the dry box alongside our spool of material. To get the material ready for loading, Place the spool inside your dry box and run the strand through the loading tube until it reaches the plastic extruder motor. Once that is done, don't forget to fully seal the dry box with the included desiccant packs inside as well to ensure the material is protected from moisture. When our spool of TPU is ready to load, we can go ahead and move over to our printer. To get started with the TPU loading process, we'll first start the loading utility under Menu, then Materials, then load plastic, and then select TPU from our list of material options. We'll be using a black spool of TPU for our example, and the next steps will be to select how much material we will want to be loading. At this point, you can opt to automatically start the print head cleaning utility, or skip it depending on the last material loaded. We last used Onyx in this printer, so we'll go ahead and select the prompts to start this utility. With our nozzle heating, we'll quickly get our composite purge kit ready for use. This is a unique kit for use with TPU, and it comes with both a roll of cleaning filament and a material guide tube. For the print head cleaning process, we'll need about an arm's length of cleaning filament, and so we'll cut that length off and also put our tube nearby. Back at the printer itself, the nozzle is fully heated, so the first step will be to unscrew our plastic Bowden tube from the print head. Once this tube is set aside, we will next put the guide tube into the plastic material pathway. Now that our tube is in place, we can start the next step of the cleaning process by pushing our cleaning filament down through the print head using a pair of pliers. This is going to be done until only clear filament extrudes from the plastic nozzle. When clear filament does extrude out of the print head, grab the filament with pliers about half an inch above the top of the guide tube and then continue pushing the strand down into the print head. Once the pliers are flush with the top of the tube, pull the strand of material out of the print head. At this point, you will likely see some residue from prior material on the tip of your strand like you can see here. After you check the tip of your strand, cut off the dirty end and repeat this push process until the end of your filament strand comes out completely clean. This may take 5 to 10 attempts, but it helps guarantee your print head is clean from debris that otherwise might interfere with the softer TPU extrusion. When there is no more debris on the cleaning filament, remove the guide tube from your print head and reinstall the Bowden tube. This will finish the print head cleaning process, which lets us resume the material loading utility. At this point, the utility will heat the nozzle to TPU temperatures, and this presents a good opportunity to get the material strand ready for loading by running it to the extruder motor if that hasn't already been finished. Once the utility starts the extruder, and material is inserted into the inlet side of the motor, the printer will do the rest of the work and automatically stop once material reaches the printhead. At this point, the last step to loading TPU is performing a smooth TPU pull. This is a quick step that is also taken after every TPU print that helps to ensure both the print head and plastic nozzle are clean before starting an actual print job. And don't worry, the printer does automatically prompt you each time this is needed, so there's no guesswork involved. A TPU pull begins by quickly removing the Bowden tube again from the print head. When that is done, next pull the Bowden tube up until the TPU strand is exposed. Lastly, pull upward until the strand comes free of the print head. With the strand separated from the print head, cut the strand flush with the end of your Bowden tube. 
After that's complete, all you really need to do is reinstall the Bowden tube, select Prime Nozzle from the UI, and when those are done, you've got TPU fully loaded into the printer. Lastly, the print bed can easily be prepped with the same Elmer's glue stick that's used for every other Mark Forge material. As is the case with PLA, Smooth TPU needs a bit more adhesion for its initial layers, and really all that means is you'll want to apply two layers of glue to your print bed rather than one, just like what we're showing here in this 100% totally not sped up example. And like with all other Mark Forge materials and printers, all you need to do on the software side is upload your STL, select the material, in this case TPU, from the materials drop down menu, slice your part, and forward that job to the printer. Thanks everyone for taking the time out of your day to join us for this overview of the Smooth TPU 95A loading process. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to keep up to date with our upcoming content, and also let us know if you have any questions. Have a great day everyone, and as always, happy printing.